very welcome back to Saturday AM. Now we're heading back to the RDS in Dublin to see what Laura's been looking at at the house event. Laura, what's going on? Am I just looking at you the whole time, by the way? Anna, lots to see and do here at House 2017 this morning. It's on today and tomorrow, and it's getting so busy now. Doors opened at 10 o'clock. Delighted to be joined by Joe Hamilton from Joe Hamilton Interiors, well-known voice of interior design both here and across the pond. Joe, thanks for joining us today. You've got a busy day ahead because you're going to be taking to the stage as well with all your advice. I am indeed, yes. Yeah. So I've got two slots today talking about interiors and colour, lighting, space and planning. So looking forward to meeting the would-be designers of Dublin. And well, that's it, because we all like to think that we kind of are our own little designer, especially when it comes to such a personal space like the home. You've picked out some trends that are very yes. off the now for 2017. But can we talk about trends, first of all? Because, you know, when you're investing in something for your house, obviously it's going to cost more than a top or a pair of jeans. So you don't want it to be not in trend, not in sure. fashion in a year's time. How does yeah. that work? It's, trends are, are, are a really useful tool, and I always say to people to think of them just as a tool. It's not something that you should build everything on and, and kind of go with the, go with a particular trend just because it's in. You should love it, and you should use it um, in, in little patches, but be aware that it's just a starting point, and it's something that you can use to build on and to spark off and to, to use little touches of, and that's how you get the best out of trends. And I suppose the great thing about trends as well is it forces your eye towards something that you may not previously have thought yes. of. For example, the Pantone colours yes, for this spring indeed. summer. So take us through that. There's one vibrant colour that stands out. <laughs> so there's um, greenery. This is the Little Green Paint Company, um, some of their, their favourite colours. Um, this particular piece of art, um, I've pulled out some colours from that um, to illustrate the trend that's going on at the moment in, for um, around um, colour. So there's a lot of green this season. The Pantone um, colour greenery is, is forming quite a staple base, but then it's expanding into layer on layer on layer of green. So we're seeing some really rich emerald greens, turquoise there's all sorts of beautiful colours and then moving into sapphires and blues um, and they look fabulous with greys as well. I don't always agree with necessarily you know the colour of the moment but for me green is a must-have because it is quite calming and then you're essentially bringing the outside in as well. Absolutely. Especially in a small living space, you live in an apartment, it's lovely to have that little touch of green. Yeah. So in terms of accessorising then, are you suggesting that we use green as sort of or like our um, accent colour and then have a neutral palette for the rest of the room. Um, I think it's uh, it's uh, what's going on in trends at the moment is is really exciting. Um, it's it's kind of anything goes. So you can ramp that whole look up by adding more colour and balancing um, it with fewer neutrals, or you can go the opposite way and really tone it down and just have little pops of colour and uh, expand your use of neutrals. So you can go either way. Um, and I suppose with the introduction of beautiful artwork on the walls and mm. makes an otherwise neutral space and perhaps a bit bland, quite vibrant, and, and you can change them. Absolutely, yeah. and it's a great, uh, art in particular is a great starting point for any scheme. If you're wanting to, if you're not that confident with colour, cheat, or <laughs> just use your colour palette that you have here, pull the colours out from this wonderful, um, from this wonderful piece, or choose a, a favourite piece of art, rug, furniture, and uh, perhaps a... Yeah a fabric um, that you can just pull those colours out of and uh, the whole scheme is going to work. I like the way you're thinking. Now we must mention this table. I thought it was a console table, it's actually a desk. So we think it's oak, but it's certainly a mid-century modern type vibe. So it would be excellent in contemporary home. I think you could put it into something that was a Georgian piece of architecture oh, yes. as well, and also modern. But what we actually want to focus on is the metallics. The metallics yeah. are huge this year, aren't they? Metallics are really big. We've seen them a real rise of metallics um, over the last couple of years. I think we were doing, we were on a play safe with lots of uh, lots of chrome for the few years before that. Now we're really expanding and, and um, exploring our use of metallics, which is really exciting to see. And they bring a wonderful warmth in. So that kind of cool, steely um, chrome. Um, is, is being used less and less. We're using, opting much more for the warmer toned metals. But it's interesting that you've chosen this particular piece because I would agree with that in terms of metallic. Sometimes I feel like brass and chrome and silver can make a room a little bit cold, a little bit impersonal. But when you've added to something like, you know, the textured wood, yeah. and you're not even bringing in the soft furnishings like, you know, your velvet cushions yet, um, it can really warm up and make the room Absolutely. quite vibrant. Yeah, a successful interior design relies on a number of things and texture is one of the key things. 
things. So a bringing in your textures that are going to soften and, um, and, and make the space feel comfortable is really, really important. Wood is obviously a fantastic, um, a fantastic opportunity for that, but also natural materials, fabrics like silks and, um, and so on. Uh, but, but wood's are really fabulous. I agree with that because I always think when you walk into someone's room and you want to touch everything, that's a sign <laughs> of you know, work that's been done really that, well. That's when you know you've, got, you, you've yeah. done your job right. Uh, another thing that's caught our eye and is definitely on trend for spring summer 2017 is the geometric print now you can't go mm. into any high street store at this stage without picking up a geometric you know candle or tablecloth yeah. or cushion and you have it here on the tile so talk yeah. us through that well we're seeing a pattern is a really is um, a big big trend i mean really 2017 is an anything goes kind of a year which is really exciting um so pattern is big and particularly geometrics geometrics are such a they form a really beautiful staple base to your um, to your pattern mixing. People worry about um, mixing patterns, but if you have a geometric pattern at, at, at the centre it's go and you build on that, you, you're really on the right path. We're seeing um, geometrics in lighting, beautiful sculptural lighting. We're seeing it in rugs. We're seeing it in furniture. Um, as you picked up on the, the um, mid-century um, uh, theme as well, very sculptural and um, really angular shapes. I like um, the way you pick the tiles out though, Joe, because they won't necessarily date. I mean, you could throw a geometric cushion out if you get bored with it or sure. you decide that oh, it's just a bit sort of passe, but yeah. with the floors, they will last. I mean, these geometric tiles have been around for years. They have been around for years, and I think tiles, while it's such a big trend and we're seeing um, tiles, uh, geometric tiles specifically, uh, having a big, making a big splash, they are a real staple piece. We're seeing them in uh, in little mosaic tiles, in metallic finishes, all sorts of different finishes. But also, it's a great way of, of adding in a, a bit of personality to, to your bathroom, to your kitchen, that you wouldn't necessarily be able to introduce with a standard um, tile. So Making really, it fun, I suppose. Jo, yeah. can you give us some final tips for the would-be designers at home? If we're thinking about refurbing a room in our house, what, what must we consider? Well, the, the key things to consider are your colour, your lighting and your um, space and planning. So focus on your colour, um, add a bit of uh, pattern, make sure that you're really lighting your scheme well with some good, clean, crisp uh, light and you, you set your interior off really well. Joe, no doubt you've got an incredibly busy day ahead and everyone wants a piece of you. We've got a big crowd <laughs> gathered around watching you at the moment. Thank you so much for taking the time Pleasure. to talk to us.